I am making an Odd Eyes deck profile. So far, with testing, this deck has done pretty well. Yet, so far, the main thing it's beaten is Crusadia. I want to say it was Crusadia Thunder Danger. It's whatever the Crusadia deck is, I forget what it was now. But, starting off with the monster cards, I play one Guturtle. This card is good because if a performer power is set in your other scale, or is activated in your other scale, once per turn you can draw a card. Then I play one performer power on I Synchron. I like this card because when it's summoned, you can summon another thing from your another monster from all your scales, and then use another synchro summon. When Lizard Draw, when you have Form Power on your other scale, you can destroy it to draw one card. So normally you have a turtle in one scale, you set Lizard Draw on the other scale, the turtle lets you draw a card, then you destroy Lizard Draw so you can draw another card. So these two act as Pot of Greed. Then I play one Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon. I like this card because it can be quick protection. I like to use it because I can have my monsters crash and other things. But with Mirage Dragon, if the two monsters have the equal attack, then my monster isn't destroyed, but theirs is. It can also be used to just protect any odd eyes from destruction once per turn. Then I play three Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. I like this card because when special summoned, you can target up to two cards on the field, destroy them, or two, up to two cards on your side of the field, destroy them, and then an equal number of performer pals from your deck your hand besides the Pendulum Sorcerer. Then I play two Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. I like this card because of how when it's in the monster zone, you can target an opponent's extra deck monster and negate its effects, and that's a quick effect. And its effects are only negated until the end of the turn, and then you don't really use this pendulum scale too often. Most of these cards, I don't even know if their pendulum scales are, because I usually don't even use them. One, Performer Pal Odd Eyes is over. I like this card, because if it's in the pendulum scale, then you can fusion summon without having to use cards like Polymerization. Or if it's summoned, you can special summon one monster from your pendulum scales and then immediately fusion summon using that monster and itself or you can just use it to fusion summon without special summoning from the extra, from the pendulum scale then i play two shion k magician this this card's pendulum scale lets you change the um xe's monster's rank into a, an equal level and then if it's in the monster zone then you can quick once per turn target it a quick effect, target one light monster your opponent controls and negates effects until the end of the turn. Or not, it can be any one light monster, not even your opponent's. So it can be on your side of the field or your opponent's field. Then you play two Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. With its pendulum ability, if a, when an attack is declared involving an Odd Eyes monster that you have on your field, you can make it gain 1200 attack as long as there's an Odd Eyes on your other scale. Or if it's monster effect, if it was pendulum summoned, and it deals battle damage to your opponent, whether it's attacking a monster or attacking directly, it deals an additional 1200 points of effect damage for every odd eyes in your scales. So if it's attacked directly while you have two odd eyes in scale, it deals 4900 points of damage. Then I play three copies of odd eyes pendulum dragon. Just does double battle damage if it battles a monster and yeah, uh, it can reduce the battle damage from battles involving a pendulum monster to zero. And it's okay, and then during the end phase, you can destroy it to add a pendulum monster with fifteen hundred less attacking deck to hand. And the usual high scale of the deck is three Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. It is a normal monster. But while it's in the pendulum scale, if an Odd Eyes card you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. And usually the monster you summon with it would be Odd Eyes Lancer Dragon. 
Where if an Odd Eyes card or cards on your field be destroyed, you can destroy one other Odd Eyes card you control instead. And I play one Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon. This card can be tribute summoned by tributing level 5 or higher monster. And when it's tribute summoned, you can target one. You destroy one monster your opponent controls and then deal damage while that monster's attack. And if it should be. Oh yeah, and it, when it destroys a monster in battle, you can then special summon a level 5 or higher monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position except itself. Then to finish off the monsters, I play three copies of All Eyes Phantom Dragon. This card, I've never actually had it in scale, but it is a complete monster when it's uh, in the monster zones. Because it has the ability of if it battles, it, you can double its attack. And if your opponent would activate a spell or trap card, you can send one spell or trap on your side of the field to the graveyard to negate the activation. And the way you summon in this deck is with its effect of sending all monsters you control with a minimum of two to the graveyard. And that is it for the monster cards. For the spell cards, I play one Miracle Synchro Fusion. This card's purpose in the deck is to do nothing except summon Supreme King's Ark. When I play one Pendulum Hall, it is a pot of greed that stops you from adding cards from the deck to hand for the rest of the turn as long as you have three or more face up pendulum monsters with different names in your extra deck. When I play one Pendulum Paradox, this card lets you take two Pendulum monsters with the same scale but different names from your extra face up in your extra deck and add them to your hand. Which is very useful in link format. And I play three copies of Sky Iris. This card prevents your opponent from targeting Magician, Performer Pal, or Odd Eyes cards in your Pendulum Scales. So if this card's in play, your opponent can't MST or Twin Twister your Pendulum Scales. And you can destroy one card on your field once per turn to add one Odd Eyes card from deck to hand. But you can only use each effect of it once. And I play three Spiral Flame Strike. If you control an Odd Eyes, you can destroy one card in the field by targeting it. Or you can add a level 7 Odd Eyes from deck to hand. Or a level 7 Odd Eyes from your extra deck to your hand. As long as it was already face up. And I play three copies of Dualist Alliance. You can activate one per turn, but as long as you have a card in your Pendulum Scale, you can add one card from your deck to your hand as long as it has Pendulum in its name. Then to finish off the spells, I play three copies of Odd Fusion. It's just normal polymerization, but if your opponent has at least two monsters in, on the field while you have none, you can use cards from your extra deck to fusion summon. I like this card because it alone gives you three of the four materials you need for Zark. That is it for the main deck. For the extra deck, I play one copy of Electromite. One Zephyr Metaltron. I hardly ever summon this, but it's there because should I need it, I will have it. And I play one Dark Rebellion, Xyz Dragon, one Absolute Dragon, two copies of Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon, one Odd Eyes Raging Dragon, one Meteor Burst, one Clear Wing, Nirvana High Paladin. I like this card because this is the only synchro monster I know of that has the ability where you can don't even need a tuner to summon it, where you can just use one pendulum summoned monster for, as a tuner. And if if you summon it using a pendulum tuner, then you can take one card from your graveyard from your and add it to your hand. So you can Raigeki your opponent, summon this and add Raigeki back, or you can Monster Reborn. Summon this, get Monster Reborn back, and then use Monster Reborn again. But, I mostly only use it to get the 1-up cards back should I ever need them. Then for the fusions, I play two Odd Eyes Vortex Dragons. I hardly ever summon these as much as I want to, but eh. one Starting Venom Fusion Dragon. One Rune Eyes. This card is really only ever summoned using Performer Pal Odd Eyes Dissolver and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. But 
if you pendulum summon the uh the dissolver, then it gets the ability of it can attack three times on monsters during each battle phase. And if you use pendulum summon monsters, then it's just unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of the turn. And to finish off the extra deck, I play one Supreme King's Art. This card is more or less the only reason I play all four of the dimensional dragons of Dark Rebellion, Xyz Dragon, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, Starting Venom Fusion Dragon, and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Well, not necessarily Odd Eyes, but the other three. You can't really play Odd Eyes without Pendulum Dragon. That is it for my Odd Eyes deck profile. If you have any suggestions of what you could do to make the deck better, besides the Chronograph Sorcerers and Time Gazer, because I do not have those, and I'm trying to get those. But if you have any ideas of what could make the deck better, comment below. Thanks for watching.